yo ho what's up guys we got an insane update in all-star tower defense in the candy halloween event let me show you this right here guys if you didn't see replay and weapon event woo all right so if you don't know what this means guys it means we can now do this op afk method oh my goodness technically you don't need tiny tasks for this one you just need a good auto clicker but i will be showing you guys how to do it with tiny task all right i'm going to show you guys two methods and then at the end i'm we're going to compare them all right so there's two methods you can use so first i'm going to show you the method that anybody can do all right so we're just going to go over here and we're going to pick you know three level one weapons all right so let's go get rid of this guy oh wait let's go equip do level one fan level one fan and then do we have a level one dagger all right um let's go with a level one staff all right and then you got i believe todoroki is a staff unit so we'll go there all right we'll equip todoroki now the unit levels don't matter for this oh let me double check all right perfect all right so we're using level one weapons so anybody can do this so first up guys you're going to open up that tiny task all right, so tiny task. And this is the first method. Make sure you guys watch to the end for the second method. So uh, we're just gonna go hop on in the entrance real quick. We got tiny task open over here. Remember guys, preferences, continuous playback, all right? 2X speed at least, maybe even 5X. All right, and make sure you guys set your recording hotkey. I like F8 for recording and F12 for playback on PC. All right, let's hop on in the entrance real quick. All right, so here we go. So there's nothing for this part of the macro. So for the macro, guys, this is what you're going to want to do, all right? You're going to hit the replay button, okay? So we're going to hit the record button. So F8, hit replay right here down in the corner, and then just click, 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 replay, click, 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 replay, click, 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 all right, F8, and then we're just going to play that back, all right? So uh, let's go play that back real quick, and we'll fast forward. So because our, our guys are so weak, it's going to take us a little bit of time. So we're just going to hit play for now. Are right, you gonna see hit the replay button then bang 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 replay button bang 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 all right and again i recommend 5x speed 2x speed could also work as well so you're gonna see we do have level one weapons and you can do kind of well but so every time you kill one of these bosses you're gonna get some candy okay so i definitely recommend you have stronger units all right so the stronger you can make the weapons the better but it's not necessarily required that you have strong weapons all right so we have the weakest weapons in the game basically right now and I'll show you guys how much candy we get per run. All right, let's do it. All right, so here you go. Every time you take out the enemy, it's going to give you drop and do a candy drop. Now, I, do, I believe each stage gives you the same amount of candy. So honestly, guys, it really doesn't matter how strong of a weapon you have. You can still grind candies very, very fast. All right, and I'll show you guys exactly the analysis of how much candy you get per minute, etc. with this method in a second. All right. Also, if you do um, the stage 50 method, which I'll show you a little bit later in the video, um, you're going to be getting a lot of EXP as well. Now, the problem with this method is this part right here. No matter what, it's going to take you a lot of seconds. So we're probably going to die here, and it's going to take us a lot of seconds to get through this. So unfortunately, that's going to slow things down a little bit. So I do definitely recommend you guys level up your weapons a little bit higher than level one. All right, here we go, guys. There's the end of the round, 2-1. All right, remember to play your macro. All right, here we go. We're playing the macro that we just recorded early in the video. All right, make, you see hits replay and then click there. All right, I'll show you guys the macro at work. All right, here we go. So replay, it's going to take you about 10 seconds to get through this part. All right, here we go. It's going to go replay real quick. All right, let me pause the video. Okay, this is going to take a second. All right, it takes a second to teleport, unfortunately. So here we go. Get that teleport popping off. All right, we hop in the game. You see, click, click, click. All right, everything's placed. We're doing damage. Game's rolling. Perfect, guys. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Looks like the macro worked really well. All right, so now let's show, show you guys how much candy we got in that one round. We got to about stage 10. All right, so let's go check out how many candies we got. All right, here we go. So let's go hop to the Halloween event thing right here. Here we go. And we're going to go hop on over here to the shop. All right, we're at 1,721. All right. So, so it looks like we got about 50 candies. Now, I know that's not a lot of candies, but this is, but again, this is only if you really suck and you'll be able to get enough candies to grind and get better um, uh, weapons. So, so if you don't have good weapons, guys, it's going to be a little bit harder to grind. But again, guys, so I definitely recommend trying to get at least rares. So we're going to switch it up, guys. I'm going to equip my best roster. So we're going to drop Todoroki. And I like Naruto. 
All right, so with my best roster, this is the Wave 50 speedrun method. We have almost the best weapons in the game. All right, so we're going to go equip that there. All right, perfect. And then for fans, we have these. We don't have any legendary fans yet, unfortunately. We have two max level normal fans. So this is what I recommend, guys, if you want to do the stage 50 method. So let's go hop on in real quick. And uh, we're going to use the same exact macro. So let's get it moving on. Here we go. I'll show you guys how to record that again in case you switched it. All right, so the nice thing about this part is you can really speed run. So we're going to use that macro again. So let's go play it. There we go. Bang, 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 bang. Bang, bang, bang. Oh, man, we're having some trouble here. Oh, we, just had, we were just glitched. So look at that, guys. So with my... Uh, if you guys saw my level weapons, Xavier, uh, we're basically one-shotting everything. So that's pretty sweet. So we're going to go speed run this to the end, guys. And then I'll show you guys how much candy we got. And then I'll do some analysis. As you guys can see, the macro does work. I'll show you guys one more time how to record it. All right, you're just going to hit F. I, I like to do continuous playback, custom speed at least 5x. Uh, we're going to record it, so F8. So you just click where the, the thingies are and then re where the replay button is. All right, and you're just going to run, run that on repeat, and you should be good to go. So we're going to go speed run this real quick, guys. Let's get to stage 50, then I'll show you guys how much candy we got from that one run. And then we'll do a little bit of an Excel spreadsheet, and I'll show you guys um, exactly... How long it's going to take for you to get all of the all of the units in the shop in the game. But I do believe they did update it slightly. So I th think the uh, higher enemies do give you more candies. Um, so make sure you guys, you see 12 shards as well down there. So I definitely recommend upgrading your weapons, guys. So we're almost there to the final stage. So let's get there, guys. And then I'll show you guys how much we get from this OP tiny task. Literally just the simplest tiny task ever, guys. It also works if your auto click has like multiple set points. You can just do the same exact thing. Also, guys, if you do get to stage 50, you do get the EXP3, which is pretty, pretty nice. So let's go back to the lobby, guys. Again, you can do the same macro I just showed you. We're going to hit return this time. Maybe we'll see some people in the lobby. Let's go. All right, so let's go check out how much we got. We were about 1,700 last time. All right, and this time we're at 25. So we got about 650 to 700 that time. So that means we would only have to do that about 20-ish times to get this guy right here. And as far as time-wise, that probably took us, you know, maybe like 10 minutes tops. So let's assume it took 10 minutes. All right, so I did the calculations here. So it looks like with the level one weapons I showed you, we're getting about 50 candies in about seven-ish minutes. So we're getting about seven candies per minute. Not a whole lot of, not, not too good, great guys. All right, at max level though, we're getting about 650 candies. In 10-ish minutes, probably a little bit less than that, honestly, uh, depending on how good your weapons are. And then 60, so that's 65 candies per minute. So let's go take a look at the items in the shop real quick here. So, oh, hey, what's up, everybody? In the video. All right, there we go. So let's take a look at the items in the shop. So it looks like we have a four. Oh, my gosh. Some of these are really expensive. Jeez. 40,000 candy, 60,000 candy, 15,000 candy, 20,000 candy, and 22,500 candy. So let's go calculate uh, how long it's going to take us to get each of these items. All right, guys. So I did all the math. So uh, for Dracula, if you're doing the level one strat, it's going to take about 21,000 minutes. So about 30 to 40 hours, guys. So quite a long time. But those are with level one weapons. Anything better, it's going to be faster. All right, with Rukia, it's going to take you about three, uh, 300 minutes with love, max level weapons, or about five hours. Bargon, about 10 hours, and Bargon Evo, about 15, so about 25 hours for both. Honestly, this is probably going to be a little bit even faster. Uh, this is a little bit of a underestimate. Um, so, yeah, there you go, guys, for the infinite. Pretty much infinite, guys, because you can just run this every time you sleep, and it's going to give you a ton. Also, if you do a level 50 method, you can get so much EXP units. Like, seriously, man. Look look how many EXP units I already have. It's insane. I hope you guys enjoyed this OP method. And let me know, guys, what you thought about it. And I'll catch you on the next one. It's your boy, Blam. Signing out, man. Peace.